talk a little bit. You hear me speaking in tongues a little bit, and I'm not in here to get into doctrine, but the Lord wants you to know that you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. He has a supernatural experience for you. If you have not experienced, the Bible says, Luke 11, that you can be saved. Hallelujah. And you can also be filled. Filled with the Holy Ghost. The Bible said, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Somebody say amen. amen. I'll quote the scripture, y'all. That's all I'm doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. The Lord says, time's coming. We're going to need all of the power. All of the power that he gives us. Hallelujah. So I want you to know right here as we're worshiping, right here as we preach, right here, if you have it, receive that, you want it. In Luke 11, he said you could ask for it. He said he won't give you a stone or a serpent. He'll give if you ask for bread. And he says so much so he will give you the Holy Spirit. Amen. So I don't have to have to really do a whole lot for some of you if your heart is ready. And you've been saying, I know I, I was saved and, and a Christian for a long time before I stepped out and, and actually moved into faith and believed for the filling of the Holy Ghost. I didn't understand it. Somebody told me wrong. But I want you to know today that it's available to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even as we worship the Lord. Yes. Oh, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We need you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, I want to share a little bit of a song. Hallelujah. Myself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That uh, the Lord gave me, I wrote, and you don't have to sing, but you can pick it up if you want. Hallelujah. Now, I, my background was in uh, jazz, among other things, and so I, I started doing a little jazz in my Christian music, and so this song comes from the book of Acts chapter 16, Acts chapter 16, and I, I actually just, the words all just come, the whole story comes right out of that chapter. But the Bible tells us that in Acts chapter 16, because they began to praise God, Paul and Silas, amen, their backs had been beaten, they were bleeding, and they were sitting on death row. It was death row at that time. They were scheduled essentially to stand before the judge and potentially for execution. And they, they had already been beaten. And then in Acts chapter 16, something amazing happened. They decided that they would just go ahead and praise the Lord anyhow. Can you say amen? They kind of started complaining and weeping and crying and oh my God help me. But they, hallelujah, decided that they would praise God even in that beaten down, painful condition. And because they did, the Bible says that God stepped in, caused an earthquake. Somebody say earthquake. Earthquake. Come on, y'all. That sounds like I didn't hear an earthquake. Earthquake. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. God stepped in, caused an earthquake, shook the entire prison, and all of the chains were loose. Not only did he release Paul and Silas, but he released all the prisoners. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. That's a message to us. Not only will he release us, but he'll release even those around us if we will praise him on all times. The Bible said in Psalm 34 and 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Praise God. So this is how song goes. All the silence. 
Thank you. 